Greetings, YouTube. Happy Tuesday. We have just in the past hour upon recording this been sent out the October MCOC monthly event update announcement. Now keep in mind, if you have attempted on an iPhone to update the new iOS, your monthly event has already been screwed over by more bugs than what I normally see in the summer of Oklahoma. So be warned, if you're an iPhone user, I would not recommend switching over to iOS with 13 anytime soon. But enter the nexus of all realities this October, and you can see we've got that fancy new guillotine along with uh, others in the picture. September is coming to a close. That means it's time to look ahead to what you can look forward to next month. Prepare yourself to enter the nexus of all realities this October. The legend of the guillotine continues. Morningstar has become a dangerous entity within the battle realm, leaving only carnage in her wake. Pun apparently not intended. Opposing this new threat is Elsa Bloodstone and her monster-hunting posse. They request your assistance to hunt down the demon golem and restore order to the battle realm. Morningstar finds an unlikely ally in Guillotine with whom she shares a mystical connection. The Fleur de Mal uh, believes there is more to the attacks than just simple violence. A battle for the souls of the past and future awaits in Guillotine. Future Prometheus? That's how you pronounce it. Attack on the Nexus. A gate to the Nexus of all realities is open. This bizarre place acts as the metamorphical. <laughs> metaphorical. Metamorphical is not a word, YouTube. Glue holding together every reality, bringing heroes and villains to the proper class during the week, and even access to a special quest with the protector of the Nexus, Man-Thing. What secrets and await? <laughs> I think you should have just taken out the word and and said what secrets await in these strange and foreign dimensions. Find out soon. Three new champions enter the contest. So, we have had some specific skepticism regarding the Dana Mining of three new champions after October for the month of November because it's been so long since we've seen three new champions enter at once, but it looks like we're going back to that with this month, which is pretty crazy. It's the first time in 2019, as far as I know, we have seen three champions in one month. Lots of uh, attempts to get your money, I'll say that. Elsa Bloodstone is the second of her name, daughter of legendary vampire hunter Ulysses Bloodstone. Elsa possesses the ancient blood gem artifact, granting her superhuman capabilities and the ability to destroy any vampire foolish enough to drink her blood. Once a brilliant biochemist, Dr. Ted Salas worked for S.H.I.E.L.D. to replicate the super soldier serum. Dr. Salas was forced to flee by an aim plot to steal his work. Blah, blah, blah. Now we have the man thing. And in the future world of 2099, the... Alchemax Corporation acquires La Flore du Mal, the ancient demon sword of the guillotine. And so we have guillotine 2099. I like regular guillotine just fine. Even have a duped six star. Uh, and the finale of the Summoner Showdown, the conclusion of the summer long Summoner Showdown is coming to you live from New York Comic Con. Nine summoners from across North America will face off to be crowned the first winner of the Summoner Showdown. And that'll be a Wednesday, September 25th spot and then the finals on october 4th choose the next champion update with old man logan and colossus reworks almost complete and ready for the deployment it's time to look ahead this is what i love to talk about you've got all of this and lots more to look forward to in october more information will be available closer to the contest or contents release okay so i am excited about new champs to buff i'm going to throw out some names right now to keep in mind uh, Groot is at the very top of the list. I think Groot is so pathetic and needs much help. Based off of past champions, I think Venom Pool should be a lot better, but Deadpool, if he's available, Deadpool should be so much better in this game. It's, uh, it's crazy to me how terrible he is. I remember opening a Deadpool around one of my brothers, and they're like, oh, congratulations, and I'm like, no, we're not celebrating this. This is a dud, and they just couldn't understand it. There's a lot of champions like that. I think they should have buffed all of the original Avengers, particularly Captain America, and uh, Hulk could have used something better. Thor, after 12.0, could use improvement. And then, of course, Doctor Strange, being nerfed so many times, has just become a true shell of himself. Black Widow uh, maybe could have used a little bit more util utility as well. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of amazing to see that uh, this is not going in that direction. But at the same time, if you can buff champions that are older, that a lot of people have as five stars, particularly Awaken five stars, that's a win for the community, and that's something that I'm going to get, uh, you know, jump on. So, 
YouTube, we have three new champions coming in the month of October, which is really setting the bar for potentially November being one of the craziest months in the history of the contest with so many incredible champions, including Silver Surfer and Dr. Doom hyped up. So a lot to be thankful for, and that is, of course, the same month as Cyber Monday, which is traditionally even better than July 4th when it comes to offers. So if you want to start saving iTunes credit or Google Play credit for those uh, offers, I would highly recommend it because they are the guaranteed A to A plus value that only happened twice a year and the last time, of course, being July 4th. Also, this gives you a reminder that they're probably going to keep with the new tradition of tiered systems where the best offers come for those who are uncollected, but particularly Cavalier. And so if you want to do what people did last time, assuming they don't change the rules and go right up to the last fight of becoming Cavalier, but then see what the uncollected offers are, snatch those up and then go for Cavalier. That was certainly a uh, strategy that people told me to talk about, and we will be repeating that strategy as we get closer to the end of November. So thanks for watching YouTube. Thanks for supporting my channel. Please comment below. Let me know who you're most hyped up for. It's pretty cool to see three new champions in one month. Hopefully that means that even though they worked really hard on developing new champions, there's still not going to be uh, a ton of bugs that they didn't anticipate because, of course, they don't test their gameplay. Have a good day, YouTube.